Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's season 47, and this is war number 9. Whew, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's all we have to go with this crappy meta. And everybody's looking forward to the end of this, boy. Whew. Anyway, we're going up against an alliance called Ghost Riders. Ghost Rider. All right. Let's take a look. Who did y'all ban? Scorpion, Kingpin, Ghost. Okay. The only one out of there that I had been using for a little bit was Scorpion. But let's see. Let's see uh, what they got going on here. Okay. Yep. Magneto coming in. Already know that. Okay. Ooh. So we got Wiccan. Okay, and we have Warlock. Warlock has an armor up, so that would be a gallon fight. Wiccan, on the other hand, as long as I don't go in there with somebody with a lot of buffs, we should be good. So Hulkling, no. Um, let's see. So it's going to be Magneto. It's going to be, let's see. Hulkling can do that one. So Magneto, Hulkling. And let's see. I guess, but no, see, I don't want to do that. Magne I was going to say Magneto can do that Warlock, but no. I would, I think, no, I don't even want to do Gallon against uh, Wiccan. Hmm. Let's see. Shock Immune, Shock Immune. I might look at my roster because I have some champions, I think. Um, let me think. I mean, Hulkling is going to be the best option because I can then uh, do something else. That Sauron, I could bring in Lady Deathstrike. Hmm. But if I brought Lady Deathstrike in, no, no, Magneto for sure. Um, up there we kind of want. Maybe I'll bring in Shuri. Magneto, Shuri, and uh, Hulkling. Shuri could do, um, pretty sure Shuri can handle that, um, Wiccan. Hulkling can handle Warlock. He can also handle, uh, the infamous Iron Man and Magneto can handle, um, future Ant-Man. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. We good. We good. I may not bring in Shuri. Um, let me see. Hulkling, Warlock, and uh, Infamous Iron Man, Magneto. So, yeah, so I could bring in somebody specifically for Wiccan if I want that might also be able to do uh, another fight. Hmm. Hmm. I got to think about that one. Maybe I will bring Shuri in, or I haven't been using Onslaught. So I might bring in Onslaught. Yeah, I haven't used Onslaught in a while. Okay. Let's see. Would Onslaught be able to do any of that? I don't know. That Domino. Mm, yeah, they made sure they put in the Defenders. Yeah, we got on all of the... Well, no, not those two. But everybody else is a global defender on Mini Boss Island. Only two are not. Hmm. But yeah, all right. We got it. Magneto, Hulkling, and then either Shuri or... Um, I might even just bring in Nick Fury and and call it a day. That might might be the the way to go, because um, he could also uh, potentially do some of the other fights as well. 
Yeah, I think I'll do that. Nick Fury, Magneto, Hulkling. All right, let's get to the fighting. All right, so I'm bringing in Magneto, Hulkling, and Nick Fury, as I said. Uh, they're hiding behind his wings, but they are there. Um, <clears throat> I need to disable that. When it first was implemented, I needed to uh, be have that up so I could remember and to be sure that I actually selected something. But this one, no. And I'm familiar enough with it, so I'm not really worried about it. All right, so first fight, Wiccan, and we're going to be using Nick Fury. I'm not too worried. <clears throat> Nick Fury has a built-in safety as long as um, he's not facing the few champs that can stop it, like Penny Parker. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> we're going to go in. And all we're going to do is bleed him out. This is why I have um, deep wounds maxed. And then parry. Come on, Kabam. That ain't cool. Look at this. That's not cool. This is not cool. I just lost all of my health. If I didn't have the safety, this would have been a loss. I kept getting parried. What's going on? Um, but I know that they're going to be addressing it. They said uh, on the forums, they're aware of that issue and it is an issue they're going to be addressing. Um, I don't know when though, but in the meantime, we're dealing with this AI that has become a parry master. And that's definitely not fair because they get perfect parries. There's no chance of them missing a parry, accidentally tapping a little too soon, nothing like that. So yeah, not fair. All right, so anyway, now I want you to watch this. I want to hit into his block. I uh, want to hit into his block. I want to hit into his block. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, I, I want to hit into his block. Uh, do you see what he's doing? Uh, uh, well, nope, still not blocking. All right, no, nope, won't block. Back up. Nope. You see what I'm saying? So I just said, all right, let me back off and let that uh, power lock wear out and then just hit him with it and just go in. But you see how the AI was doing? Suddenly it was aggressive and wouldn't block, just kept coming at me, firing specials. Sometimes they're too passive. Okay, now here, I finally was able to, to get some hits into his block. Now I'm not gonna be able to do the normal uh, Hulkling smash for, better, uh, for a better term, want of a better term, uh, because of the power lock. See, so I can do this, but it won't be when I'm unblockable. Now I can still do it, but it would, I would have to go to like maybe four charges and then wait for that to come out and then hit into his block with that special. Then it would become unblockable during the special and I could get some damage in that way. But it's too much work. Just take them out, okay? Now, if you've watched my war videos, you already know how this fight is gonna go. Parry, heavy, special three. Unless something crazy happens, that's pretty much how we do this one. <clears throat> and I don't try to build up the prowess early on. All I try to do is parry and heavy. Now, in the beginning, I, you know, delayed my attack so that he could get magnetized, takes like a second, and to wait for his uh, armor up to go away. All right, and then now it's just parry heavy until the game decides to let the AI start jigger step stepping. I don't know what else to call it. You know, a little stutter step so that you miss your parry. You have to be careful about that, but there's not really much you can do. You know, just suddenly your parry don't work and you're wondering, well, what happened? I, I hit the same timing. It's because the AI, the AI, they'll like go to attack and they'll just do like a little micro pause. 
and that's enough to throw off your timing and that's it now there i just held it too long but all good we got 41 prowess we don't even need 41 prowess um he didn't even have that much health left but we do want the special three because he um he has a protection like a kind of a safeguard on uh other specials so he will not take the full damage that's why fights with gallon against him take longer all right now hulkling you get to see what i can't do on the other uh section one path um with hulkling all right so you know i'm just hitting up building up you know my aptitude okay just build it up build it up the glancing is annoying but he only gets one armor up all right now i got a pierce so we're just building up to the special two now we just need him to hold that block hold that block hey now we got it bam 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 and that's how you hulkling that's how you do the hulkling all right if you think hulkling ain't good you're probably using him wrong so anyway didn't matter all that health uh regen and everything now sometimes he does not get the um crit he won't crit and i hate that when that happens all right so next fight i've been assigned to jessica jones and i am to use nick fury now i thought i would be coming into this fight with nick fury's life model decoy still active but thanks to the parry master ai i'm on my real life now he is sig 200 so that means that the degen is gonna go very slow it's a less of a degen okay so what i'm gonna do just to play it safe and because you know i have enough is use an invulnerability boost and i'm gonna go replenish it you know we only have uh what is it three wars left after this one so i'm good um that power snack was a little bit of a concern nick fury does not get a lot of uh buffs unless i do the decks and that kind of thing um but yeah see power gain right off the bat but it's okay because with the invulnerability i'm just going to try to push her all the way to a special three that's all i want to do all right because we are invulnerable but look at this she knows we're invulnerable now i could have fired my special off right there and i'm like fire your special no she didn't want to fire her special that's a case where i don't mind the ai being passive we good not that it would have helped her any if she had fired that, but I couldn't remember if she had any kind of a damage over time component or a stun. Because if she had a stun, that could have been bad. But I don't remember if she has a stun. But if it's just a one hit, then I'm good. If it was a stun, not so good. All right, we'll be back in a minute and you will find out how this war ended. And we're back, and as you can see, we won this war. Uh, let's take a look here. Um, war was fairly close. Let's check this out. It was pretty close. Uh, so you guys did a great job. We were managed to pull out the win, We've got uh, three wars left in the uh, season, and it looks like we're on track for ending in Platinum 2. So hopefully we got it. I believe we just need to win one or two out of the three to just um, cement it, lock it in. All right. So anyway, take care, and you all 
Have a blessed day. 